My name is Burns Fellow and I'm the sail designer for Emirates Team New Zealand. I've been uh, with North Sales now for 33 years, starting all, all the way back in 1988. What's changed? Pretty much everything. It, it's, it's interesting looking back at what we knew back in the day, 25 years ago, which was so little compared to today, and it makes you wonder what we don't know for the future. Is it stressful? Yes, because the level of intensity and, and the demands on you, and you're, you know, you're as important link in the chain as anyone in this place. So yes, there's stress, but you manage it. Hopefully you thrive on it. That's one of the key things. That's why I keep coming back for more and more. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't come back. As a sail designer, a lot of people just look at sails and just see these things sitting there and, and have no idea of, of the loads that are being applied to the corners and the stresses that they see and the shapes that we're trying to achieve. And you know, that's a massive part of it. It's not just designing the shape of a sail, we also design all of the structural elements that go on inside the sail that basically, when the, the wind load and the boat applies load to it, it ends up in the shapes that we need. When we're designing a sail, uh, obviously we want to try and design something which is going to make the boat faster than its previous iteration. That changes with time based on the knowledge that we gain from how the boat operates on the water, what our observations of the real world are. We have a, a fantastic suite of analysis software called Membrane, which is absolutely critical to us, but still how, how the sails are used in real life affects how we design them as well. When we design a sail, we, we design two key elements. We design first the, the shape that the sail is in its unloaded state with no load applied to it. And then we also specify what structure or what tapes we're going to put on. And we're using the 3DI process for all of our sails, which is basically using carbon pre-preg tapes. So we have to specify what tapes we're going to use, what variety, what materials, uh, and their orientation and density. The sails are actually uh, the last piece of hardware which is delivered to the boat for the America's Cup. We've, we've obviously been building sails throughout the campaign, but now we have the hull, we have the mast, we have our uh, rudders, our foil wings, they're all not quite cast in stone, but essentially. And in the last few weeks of the campaign, uh, we deliver the final sail inventory. And so the last designs uh, go off just a matter of weeks before the actual match. So, you know, it was only a few weeks ago that I sent my last designs. I consider myself very fortunate to be here uh, designing in, uh, with Emirates Team New Zealand. I've always been with this team. And I think one of the key things has always been having an ability to listen to other people and accept what other people's knowledge is and what they bring to the table and assimilating that to what we, what we do. One of the great things working with Norths is, uh, you know, we, we have a lot of talent and, and the design pool and it is spread across uh, many of the teams. When we meet up with each other, we just don't talk shop. And it's not just America's Cup, but that's happened in, you know, certain Volvo projects and TP52 and the like. Ultimately, uh, Norths does gain knowledge at the end of each Cup cycle from the developments that we've been doing.